Okay. Um, I'm figuring out the whole value of the drakes. So upon ringing the second bell of awakening, you'll co be coming out of a cave on your way to the fire link shrine, which I think is the main area. You'll notice a small wooden bridge. I never saw a small wooden bridge to begin with, so I'd like to see this small wooden bridge if possible. Hold on, stop. Get what the fuck is this? Where is that? What is this? Why'd they point down there? I do not remember this at all. I've never seen this Valley of Drake's wooden bridge and shit. Blight Town is the annoying fucking dark place. So once Q-Leg is defeated, continue to the same direction. Okay, since... wait. Showing the giant... Pull the gates to Sin's fortress, our next destination. Now find the door that leads down to a staircase to the lower bell tower. center of the room and the hole in the wall our Mancy trainer Between it and Blight Town. Along the way from the bonfire. Water wheel. Blade and take you up onto a platform once you reach the top of the ladder. To your left, facing away from the water wheel. Take you further uh, up further. Watch out for giant mosquitoes coming from behind. There's another ladder and a crate. Crag spider to the left of it. Blow dart snipers first to ensure you have your fight spider shield and or sh shadow set equipped. Okay. Wait. So, oh my god, okay. So there's a lot more to this fucking bullshit then okay so we need to head all the way back to where we were originally which was the uh <sighs> which was the fucking blight town we need to go back through blight town again or don't and just go from here to the 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 doors to I don't fucking know. We just need to go this way. We don't need to be here. Let's just go back through Blight Town again, cause screw it. Whatever. Fuck it. We made it all the way to here, might as well. Um. Make our way. I don't- I don't have any interest in fighting you guys. Bye.
Do I have the master key? I do. Okay, then I can just get to the Valley of Drakes anyways, apparently, from here. I don't know how, but according to, like, the beginning, we'll find that, that door anyways, so I'm not gonna worry about it. They're gone. Is this thing still here? It is. I don't know who you are, but... Hi. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? Yeah. I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frank, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Uh, yeah. Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Okay. Chosen undead. Your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn. Yeah, that is so my objective. That you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Where's that at? Where the fuck is the Lord Vessel? I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Gave me a, a sword? Why did he give me a sword? Is that what that said? Or did I just read that wrong? Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Chosen me. Farewell. Thanks, man. I don't know where Andor is, but... This guy's gone. This fire does not seem to be work anymore. Or, be work? It doesn't seem to work anymore. I think... Okay. Just says dead. Okay. Dead. Why did I get like a bunch of loot from that? Yo, is the dinghy hood good though? Okay, so the guy's dead now. Whoever did, like, something with the shrine, he's dead. He was the firekeeper. And now he's dead. Does the bonfire just work now, or no? Well, the, the firekeeper's fucking dead. I just mentioned that. I don't know how to get to the Valley of Drakes, okay? I just wanted to get to the Valley of Drakes and have a good time. But... Seems... That is likely not gonna be the case. I, I have no other idea on how to even get to it, but I'm guessing this takes us to somewhere.
so I guess we'll just go exploring. And we'll figure it out. Hey guys. It's me. New Londo Ruins. Am I even supposed to be here? What do you do? Oh, you can do stuff with the weapons, that's right. Uh, modify equipment? No. Reinforce armor? No. Okay. So... Just checking the website again. And on the game progress guide. We're currently in New Londo Ruins, which is not where we're supposed to be. We want to go to Valley of Drakes, which... Okay, either way, we need to come here, I guess. And then somewhere with Undead Parish or something. Okay. What's up here? Wasn't there like a guy? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, Valley of Drakes. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. We're here. This is, um, Blight Town, right? Yeah, this is Blight Town. Look! It's exactly Blight Town. Look at that. Wow. Actually, let's go through here and see if we can open up that door. There's your boy here. Hi. Bonk him on the head. Get him. Get him. No, not me. Okay, well that's just fucking bullshit. Bro. No. Well, oh, I'm dead. And now I'm I've been teleported all the way back to here. Isn't that unfortunate? Isn't that quite unfortunate? That I am I am to be so I, I am to suffer once again for some bullshit. For 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 some skill issue. I now must suffer. And I gotta I gotta recharge my stamina. See you later, nerds. It's kind of neat. How do I get up there? I never noticed how there's like an actual... I think I did that once, didn't I? I don't know if I did it on, on stream, though. I have no idea. Back here again, cause bullshit. Firekeeper no longer lights the way. Or whatever. Okay. Let's go through the Valley of Drakes and not go through Blight Town. 
and just go to where we need to go. That's how you do that. No, 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 wait, shit. Ah. That's fun. Huh. Nailed it. New Londa ruins. Erm, um, actually no. Valley of Drakes. And I'm guessing that this is a shortcut to Blight Town. We just have to get through this area here. What am I doing? No, fuck off. I'm not doing that. Fuck. Fuck Blight Town, fuck the enemies, fuck that place. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay. We're going through the Valley of Drakes once more. We're actually not even once more. This is a new beginning for me. Look at that. That's a that's a Drake probably. Okay. So you're you're evil. Oh god. I just want this. Ow. Ow. You know what? Fuck you. You can sit there and be a Drake or whatever, okay? Uh. Of a proud knight. Proud knight indeed. I don't think I want to wake up. <laughs> All right. Is that a Drake? I see. Hello, are you a Drake? You are. Okay, you're going to shoot electric. Did you just dodge my attack? Ow! Dude! What? What? Oh! Now I'm back here. Fuck. Come on. Now I gotta run all the way back again. Oh boy. Do it all again. I got a new shield, so that's cool. I got a new sword. Uh. Is it this one? Uh. Estora's. Shield? Is that it? Wait, is it blessed? High quality sword with a powerful blessing. Yeah, so I need this. Uh, so I can... Is this so I can kill the... Ghost monsters or something? I can kill ghosts? How much damage does a... Hold on. How much damage does... A great club do? 
is a lot of damage. Alright, what shields do we have? We have... Dragon Crest Shield. This is a new one, but it's worse. Wait, is it? No, it's it's about the same. It just has less stability by one point, so this is actually a better shield. Okay. So we want to use the Dragon Crest Shield. Okay. Alright. We'll use the Dragon Crest Shield. It'd be epic. <laughs> Let's go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I don't know where I heard that. That's like the start of like a song. And I think I heard it from Scooby-Doo. But... Like the live action film, but I don't... I don't remember. Uno, dos, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Da, da, da. That song. But I think I heard it from... I think I heard it from Scooby-Doo. I think they were on, like, the island or something. I don't remember. Those films are kind of a fever dream, especially with Scooby-Doo's animation. Like, they, they wanted to make him, like... <laughs> they wanted to make Scooby-Doo very realistic, but because of just, I guess, technology, they just, like, managed to make something very uncanny. I mean, it still works, you know, because it looks just like a, like... You know, it kind of looks like a Great Dane, you know, but it's very animated and, and clearly CG, CGI or whatever. So, let's go. Dodge roll off of this. Run, 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 run. New Londo ruins. Who asked? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. We're gonna go back through the Drake section again. And this time maybe don't get killed by the funny Drakes. Especially the one that shoots like poison liquid. I don't know where it's getting this liquid from because it, it, it looks, it looks like a rock. I don't think that's like a, an alive animal, but. I, I can't tell. Why are you moving like that? Like this? Isn't that how you move around? Isn't this how you move around in, in games? Or in, in real life? You walk as if you're you're like walking on a grid. Hello, Drake Sama. Ow, 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 ow. You know, I, I walked all the way over here. I got so far. Wait, what was that? Right of kindling? I I know I need that information so I can it, fuck. How do I relight the fire from at the fire link shrine? Because the bonfire is like not lit anymore. What's what's the deal with that? Hold on. Wait, internet help. Internet. Fire link shrine bonfire out. How do I fix it? Ringing the second bell in Blight Blight Town by interacting with the firekeeper's cell. You'll pick up a bunch of items, most importantly, a black orb. Further in the game, this orb will begin vibrating. You can then activate the orb and invade the world of the killer. What? <laughs> the killer? Like a serial killer?
It's the instead of the zodiac killer, it's the orb killer. Let me out of here. It's like a kid. Didn't take their ADHD medication. Ate a bunch of candy. <laughs> I need to be able to run faster. So I guess there's just no way of, of lighting this funny bonfire here forever. And every time I die, the punishment is even worse. Because I have to run all the way back through here. I don't know. I don't think there's a bonfire down here. I think there's there's just nothing. So I think my best bet to have a closer bonfire would maybe be the shortcut from Blight Town. I think. I don't know where the shortcut even is, to be honest. So. I'm just guessing, but I think it might be the bet our best bet. Maybe. Um, let's see. Let's see, because I think I, I have. I'm better off fighting those two like big club guys than fighting a a Drake on on like very small. Like I just have no room or anything. So, let's fight these guys. These big, big, big guys. And see if I can destroy them utterly. With a great finesse. Hello. I just want one of you. Yeah, follow me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Don't, don't roar. Don't roar. There you go. Okay, good. So, we'll just lure one out so we're only fighting one. Like a boss. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Stabs. Alright, next. Stab. So much easier. There we go. So much easier to just deal with one instead of multiple. All right, you're next. Come here. What's with the glitchy stuff going on over there? All right, go around you. Go around you. Stab. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay, that's bullshit. All right, that's bullshit. I did my iframes or whatever. I did the funny whatever you're supposed to do in these games. All right. Any more enemies over here? There is! Hey! Die. No! What the fuck? There we go. Wait for him. Wait for him to get up. There we go. So much easier when you can backstab them reliably. Alright, now we're in Blight Town, but where's the door? What? Where are we? What the hell?
Dark Souls is is a game with no bugs. All right, so where was this ladder all along? I must know, cause I didn't see this ladder. I don't recall ever seeing this ladder, ever. So please enlighten me, game. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, whatever, okay? I somehow missed that ladder. Or something. I'm gonna have to fight those, those orc guys again, but at the very least they'll have a closer... I have a closer bonfire than the fucking one that I've been using just now. Alright. Alright, here we go. Hey, chickadee, check yourself before you wreck yourself. That, that was a mistake. Alright. We go into here. And we use this bonfire. And now we're in like a central... area. Or whatever. Capiche? Gonna fight these guys again, but at the very least, no more bullshit. Actually, I don't even have to fight these guys technically. I could just move on with my life. But, okay. So we climb up this. Go over here. Get on this. Go up this. Get up here. Run over here. Go up this. Get up here. Go on this. Shooting blood or whatever, who cares? Go over here. Go up this ladder that I somehow miss. Go up this ladder. Go up. Nope. Okay. Go up this ladder. Go up this ladder. Alright. Now... We go up this ladder. Right? Right? And then... Bada bing, bada boom. Enemy. He does his funny attacks. We walk around him. Like a boss. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thanks for the dung pie. Get on over here. Oh, great. Now we have two of them. Fantastic. Okay. Fuck. What? Dude, this is fucking bullshit. You're dumb attacks. There you go.
Okay. All right. No more, right? Right, game? No more funny... Whatever you call them. Goblin guys. Big... Big guys. What is this way? Glug, glug, glug. Alright, well, we can I guess it's longer in the sense that I have to fight more enemies unless I just ignore them outright. But in the sense of like. It is really annoying that I've had to literally drink, like, 50 Estus flasks. Because I was poisoned. You wanna do your funny electric attack? Okay. Bum, 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 bum. You know what? Yeah. Well, I can't really do it because the game doesn't pause. But I would put on some music. Be f Listen to this one. All right, let's go. I didn't even mean to waste that, honestly. Giant mosquitoes.
I'm going to experiment with running past the giant clubbed bros. Just run past them instead of like interacting with them, you know? Yeah, it's great. Proud of you. still following me? No. Okay, that works. Saves time. So I think it actually is faster. Oh god. I like how I have to deal with this first Drake here. Figure out how to really fight it. And then on top of that, I need to find another one around the corner. Anyways. Damn. I'm really good at, like, dodging attacks. I'm really good at, at not having a good time. I like how the first 40 minutes of the stream is me struggling with getting anywhere. You know, actually progressing. It's just been trial and error dying constantly. You fucking idiot. Can't wait to play Dark Souls 2. So excited to play Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3. Cannot wait.
time. How am I gonna die this time? How shall I perish once again? Your stupid ass fucking electric bullshit. Making it harder for me to even get over to you. Wow, that hitting me did so much fucking damage that it's bullshit. Never thought I'd see the day. Make sure to switch this back to uh, the bandit blade so I don't actually switch to the. This is fucking bullshit. This like electric shit. Like I can't, I can't do anything. I'm. What do I do? Walk away and then wait for him to reset. How am I supposed to deal with these stupid drakes? What kind of bullshit is this? <sighs> okay, internet. Please fucking help me. Please, just, just help me. Please give me some sign. Undead dragon. Killing the dragon melee strategy. So what, do I kill the dragon? So you kill the dragon, but you use ranged The melee strategy strategy why Do you even kill it first of all? But now more dead than undead undead dragon to meet your first Drake Drake these in Infantile infantile uh, Dragons are blue relatively small Breathe lightning and can prove challenge, challenging in numbers, but luckily the first one is, is by itself uh, and can't follow the ledge fully due to its size. So the first one can be lured back along the edge of the point or can't follow trapping it for a nice easy range kill. Once it's dead, continue onward. I, I can't kill it with a ma I don't have a ranged weapon. How, how do you expect me to kill a drake when I can't 
kill it. One at a time. This is not... They're like, this is supposed to be entertaining. This this guy, you're, these drakes you fight are supposed to be fun. What? Yeah, I, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, being stuck and... With little room. I love it. I can't... Don't have a, a ranged weapon, so what? I need to go back to, like, a person who sells stuff and then buy, like, a bunch of ammo. Like, just grind enemies until I get ammo and then <sighs> get a better bow or something. Is that what I need to do? Because it does a whole 14 damage per shot. Which won't kill anything. Like, okay, buddy. The only strategy I can do is to go get... I need to go buy arrows or some shit. I... Uh... Personally, I just love, um, trial and error. I love it. You don't make progress without failure. strategy I'm thinking of is I need it to be to get I need it to shoot its weird electric stuff and then I need it to I need to bait it so it specifically I need to bait it so it specifically Let's me get around it so I can go in for melee attacks and it stops doing its stupid laser bullshit. I'm struggling. <sighs> Jesus. Fucking killing me. Uh, 
I should have just played a fucking archer. I should have just played a fucking archer. If I knew I was going to be bullying the fuck out of AI um, in games, I should just play a fucking archer and break them. Make it so they can't hurt me and I can just sit there and spam arrows. Do like very little damage though, but at the very least, I'll be able to to hit things and and not lose as much health, you know. Just be a, just be an archer. <sighs> just be like one of those um, rogues that use um, archery instead of just blade. They're like knives. I just do that instead of being a big dummy. And not doing that. Like, how foolish am I to have realized what the true um, game killing weapon was? Although, I am using the Drake sword. So, this weapon is supposed to be like the best sword in the game, pretty much, you know? You'd think it was. Can't kill this guy for shit, though. Can't, can't do shit. So. I don't know anymore. up there? Hold on. I just realized this was here. I don't know if that was... I don't know if that was for something or, or what the deal of that was. Let me try... Okay. I'm gonna try a new strategy. Uh, running past this guy. And then trying to fight one past it, you know. I'm gonna run past you if you're if you're okay with that. If you don't mind, um, I'm gonna go into here, grab this. This is humanity. I need to get past you. Thanks. Right, I gotta drink this. Okay. I What's up here? Something over here. What's in here? Hmm. Where do you go? Oh, oh, misery. that song I'm on the hill man after all don't put the blame on me oh my god a bonfire that's closer than the other bonfires holy fuck all right okay this this is great right here okay this is amazing this is special Only give me two. Let me go ahead and reverse hollowing. Now I'm human. Human. Alright. We're gonna kindle this. So. 
we get more Estus flasks from it. Okay. Don't put the blame on me. If this leads me to the skeleton thing, it it does. Hi, dark root basin fucking guy. Okay. I need you to be in a like a, a spot where I can actually As the game quickly reminds you, uh, that you are nothing. I'm gonna grab this grass crest shield. Ow. You wanna... do that again? <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Got him. Fucking ga 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 got him. Get owned. What is this place anyways? Am I even supposed to be here? Let me see what the guide has to say about this one. Cause you know the guide knows exactly what it's talking about. Ah yes, the intermediate would also mention the dark root basin as well. We don't want to do that. We want to go to the Valley of Drakes for whatever fucking reason. And then once you do all this other bullshit. So. Yeah, so anyways. We want to, we want to go to, uh. We want to not be here. And we want to go straight to Valley of Drakes again. For some reason, we want to go here. Or to there. Don't know why. But... Hey, we got a, a cool bonfire right here. Now we don't gotta worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Also, well, no. It's not even worth it, really. Really? It's not even, it's not even worth it. Really? It's not, it's not even worth it. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, you fucking believe that, you fucking muppet? Oh, okay. Alright, you. Alright, we need to duel. I need to learn to fight you properly. I have a shield, though. Okay, well, you dodge that. Yeah, I gotta- I gotta, like, lure you into doing that dumbass fucking... There we go. Okay. Alright, well, I know how to fight you now, I guess. I missed, apparently. Okay. You killed me! Good job, buddy. You did it by... ...fucking being in a very annoying spot that makes it impossible for me to cheese you. Like I was doing. So, good job. You win a gold medal. Enjoy it. Yeah, when I'm given, like... Room... I can actually kind of do stuff. You know, I can actually get a little... Little quirky. Actually do stuff. Fight the... the Aberdemon. Very 
Alright, do your, your whatever fucking lightning bullshit. The fuck? You're making it kind of the fuck. Yeah, back into a corner where I can't hurt you. A little bit closer. There you go. Oh, great. Yeah, just do that. I'm having a lot of fun fighting this guy, game. This, this is a fun thing that I have to fight multiple of. Okay. You know what? Yeah, just take your fucking time. Whatever. Oh, great. Been a blast fighting you. You know what? Yeah, just fucking whatever. Yeah, that'll get him. I love the range of that too. I think that's pretty sick. Hey, what's up guys? From Software here. When I was developing this game, I was like, you know what we need? We need we need um bullshit. That's what we need. We don't want our game being fair. Right? I mean, what's a game if it's not going to make you struggle? Right? You know, I grew up playing the Nintendo Entertainment System. I had to play Ninja Gaiden. Um, do people in 2016 have to play Ninja Gaiden? Didn't think so. So, we wanted to make a game that, uh, shared a similar feeling to Ninja Gaiden. Um, we wanted, we wanted people to have that classic video game experience of having something that, okay, you know what, we'll take, we take those, you know? We take those dubs, all right? <laughs> all right, let's let's look at uh, Exhibit A here, right? See these guys right over there? Um, let's just place a bunch of them. You know, how many are over there? One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's there's one on the bridge, and then there's three uh, three other ones not on the bridge hanging out next to each other hey nice attack I want you to keep doing that. 
There you go. From software here. Look. We know not everybody's gonna like our game. But what we do know. Okay, so it says here, once all the drakes are dealt with, which, <laughs> um, that's funny. It's very funny indeed for you to assume I'd be able to deal with this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is instead of wasting my time fighting these guys, I'm going to try to bum rush, grab everything I can, run across the thing, grab the item that I need, I, for whatever reason I need this item, and then move on. Because I, if I die with the items, then I won't have to worry. I'm a simple man. And I just picked up I what is this? What is the point in this? It doesn't do anything important. This is this is a useless item. Why would I wear this? So... <sighs> what I- yeah. I need to run to that ladder as fast as I can while they're busy doing their funny electric attacks and climb up the ladder. And then die if I want to. I really do not care afterwards. Easy, right? I'm on the human after all. I'm on the human. All right, let's try this again, but this time we'll do it. Pushing it right. Everybody, mini, 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 they don't know how to fly, so we're good. Alright, there we go. We got the red key or whatever, or the red ring of, of death. So now we just need to get down from here. Red ring. Once all the drakes are dealt with, 
where the redstone ring, which can be very useful when dealing with the undead dragon earlier on, when you make your way down, climb down and do not jump. A lot of souls slaying these dragons, and it would be a waste to lose them at this stage. Big doors, big problems. Across the other side of the bridge, you'll notice a huge set of doors, which actually lead to the new Londo ruins, and are, are, and are likely sealed shut for, for you at this stage. They only open when the other side within the l new Londo ruins, um, but you wouldn't want, to open, uh, want them to open from this side anyway due to the mass water on the other side that has flooded New Londo, uh, New Londo. Once you go to New Londo and open the seal, the huge doors will open and then open a new path between the Valley of Drakes and N Lower New Londo. With the above all done, you now have explored the Valley of Drakes fully. It's literally a ring. What the fuck does the ring do? What does the ring do? Two rings. Boosts damage by 50% when health is below 20%. Also affects damage done by magic, pyromancy, and miracles. Does not affect firebombs and throwing. Was there really any point to being here? Hey guys, I'm happy that you all decided to go back to your original positions. But... It doesn't stop you guys from getting ready to literally murder me as soon as I climb down from this. So. Boost attack when HP is low. There. Doing it right. Everybody when I'm hiding when I'm doing it right. Everybody when I'm hiding when I'm doing it right. Well, there goes all my points. Retrieval. All right, let's try to kill these things. Do I have any weapons that would be better than the Drake sword against? Fire. I wonder what fire does. Maybe I should equip it. Let me equip fire. Hey, I got fire now. It doesn't work. God. All right, get over here. Get over here, silly goober. Did I hit you? Did I get you? Boo, did I get you? Boo, did I get you? Boo. Boo, did I get you? Boo, did I get you? Ow.
Ow, fuck. Nice. Stop running away from me. Let me hit you at least once. Whoa. Nice. There. Estus flask. Chug, 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 chug. Alright, who wants me next? You? Alright, come on over here, buddy. You're gonna love- You're gonna love what you see. Check this out. Come on over here, buddy. No, 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 come back, come back, come back. No, 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 come back. Please. There you go. Come on. Come on. No, 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 come back. Come back. What did I say? Come here. You know what? If that gets you closer to me, then sure. Come on. This way. There's nothing here for me. I just wanted to see if I could do that. I just wanted to see if, like... Maybe there's like a magic, you know, like in the air and that for some reason, for some fucking reason, I need to go to the undead parish apparently, which is this area. Why do they want me to come here again? Oh, wait. Okay. I think they wanted me to go to the Undead Parish so I can go to Sin's Fortress. So, let's just go to Sin's Fortress. Uh, we don't need to be here anymore. We need to go to Sin. Sin's Fortress. Fun. I just don't think fighting the Drakes is fun at all, and it takes up a lot of time. There's just so much time being wasted here with fighting these. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna try to kill this thing. I don't know why. So wait, what's the strategy for killing this thing with melee? What's what's the strat? What is the strat? If you have a melee weapon, least moderate range, such as a long sword, then you can also engage the dragon. Mano a talon. While not getting hurt too much, start in the position, as in the picture below, okay, and aggravate the dragon in any way you like, wait for it to breathe its poison breath, then for the gas to dissipate before you run up and attack the closest foot. A running stab works, uh, works well. With a single hit, once your hit lands, then roll back and run out of range. Then repeat this process until you can remove the un from the dragon's name. Okay.
don't fall off. Gotta get rid of the poison. I will do a funny lunge attack. why I'm fighting this funny dragon, but whatever. Okay. Come on. My fuck. <sighs> God damn. Okay. God damn it. Okay. This guy better drop some epic gamer loot. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be very mad. I'm only human after all. Alright. Human. Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind. Now we have to sit here and swing at a guy until eventually it's this dragon, this undead funny dragon, which I don't know if he's there even like necessarily an enemy, but Okay, so there's no dodging that attack if he does it. Got it. Now I know, okay? Now I know. It does a lot of damage, so we want to keep doing that. Keep repeating it over and over again until they... Alright. I missed. Dude, what the fuck? Thought I hit them, but alright. Fuck. 
my face. It's worth it, I swear. It's worth doing this. say do constantly. Come on, man. I just fucking... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, perfect. Just do that shit. Alright, well, I don't have any other way of healing, so... Other than wasting, like, one of those... Wait until this is fully gone and then go in. I think I almost died there. I fucking hate you, game. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you so fucking much. I hate you so fucking much right now. Oh my god. <laughs> how... How unfortunate am I? I just love how I got stun locked just barely inside of his range for that attack. Just barely. I I could feel it. I could feel me being just barely in like the small little I was like maybe like three pixels into the hitbox. I could feel it and I could feel how I'm, I'm just, I just love that, I just love that, uh, I'm gonna have to fight this guy from all the way back from, with having 100% health again, um, at, at the point where I don't even know if this is even worth it, and I don't know what doing this would even give me if I did do this. Because this is not a boss, this is just a random goblin creature that just sits here shooting acid all day. Do I have the Firekeeper's soul? Invade the world of m murderer of Firekeeper. Why would I want to do that? Hmm? Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind. All right, you know what help? Some good, good old uh here. No.
missed. No fucking shot, dude. I love it. I've done no damage to this fucking guy. This is a test of patience. This is a test of... This is probably what Luke Skywalker had to do when he was training to be a Jedi. He had to fight, um, these, like, drakes. He had to play Dark Souls. He had to play Dark Souls, um, one. Without any hints or guides, and he had to beat the game. That was his, that was his training. To being a Jedi. So, people who play this game, they're actually playing a tra training program. You know how, like, the military uses, like, video games or something to, to train its troopers? The military or something, unless that's a myth. Um, they do the same for this. It's actually ironic how, um... Literally, I think, I remember reading a comment about... The this is spoilers, but Metal Gear Solid 2. There's a part in Metal Gear Solid 2 where um spoilers again. He it actually turns out to be like some kind of like weird simulation or some shit, where like um. You see, the problem there is that I got- I get stuck. You can get stuck in the hand. And then it completely ruins the whole thing because then I get pushed forward into him. So by the time he finishes his animation, he's ready to do his 
really fast animation of swinging. So I have no time to be able to get out of out of the way like norm how I normally can. I just get fucked by the the hit like the fucking collision and shit. Bad. I need to like find a way of doing it that one way where I'm only hitting the arm, I guess. Even though the double hitting of the arm and the stomach does a lot of damage and saves a lot of time. It's incredibly risky and I guess it would just be easier for me to just spend even more time and patience slowly killing him by hitting his arm every time. Doing 200 damage consistently. That's probably the only safe way of doing it because I don't have a bow. So I guess that's what I'm just going to have to do is just keep swinging at the arm, just barely hanging onto the ledge and then hope that, you know. So I go right here, right? Wait for it to go. Back up. Nope. Back up. I'm trying to do the lunge attack, but it's just not working. Fuck you. Okay. much better in the long run. I just barely got out of that one. I would have died if I uh, fucking didn't do that. waiting for him to do his his like swing attack and then it just insta kills me immediately doing this a dragon scale and 3,000 points or whatever okay. all right well guess I'm gonna go to I guess the funny castle thing or whatever. I'm gonna use my points. Well, first we need to get to the bonfire next to the blacksmith guy. And then... And then... Actually, we need to do... Do we need to do this? New Shondo Ruins next? Or are we not doing this? 
or sorry, new Londo ruins. New Londo ruins. New Londo ruins. Yeah, so we have to do the new Londo ruins next. Oh boy. Um, okay. Here's what I want to do. All right. I think I want to go back through this and I'd rather be over by the blacksmith in that bonfire pit than to be anywhere near the drakes. So we're going to do that. The black eye thing. What happens if I go in there and, and find the killer guy? What happens? Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind. Um, what was it called? So it's called... Yeah, we get it. You can swing your sword. It's called the... <sighs> Black Eye Orb. Let's see, Black Eye Orb. So it's called Dark Souls Black Eye Orb. Now, I feel like I need to make it clear. I feel like I need to make it clear. If I was playing, if I wasn't playing this game on stream, I wouldn't have been doing this whole look at wikis and walkthroughs. I probably, I might have, but I more than likely would have been, I, I would have been a little bit easier on this game, I would say. And I might have, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I might would have, I maybe would have enjoyed these games if I played them on my own. So, with that in mind, I don't know. I I don't know if, at least in this game in particular, maybe I would have liked it better. Okay, so don't worry about the eye. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Don't worry about the eye. Just focus on going and doing the objective that I need to do. Oh, you're back. Uh, oh, you again? Hi. Me. Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Damn, that gone. sucks. Lady. I think I swore to protect you with my life. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy, deathly so. So I guess if I found his wife, then... I, I guess that's a quest? I don't know. <laughs> I really, I'm really in need of a new outfit that's better than this. I really want to have a new outfit, badly. Maybe I should just say fuck it and accept my fate.
Hey, they're not chasing me anymore. Good. Okay. We're gonna leave this. And what we're gonna do is we're going to use... The dragon scale, we'll, we'll use that. We're going to use this to acquire souls. Whole 7,000 souls. Okay. Let's see how much it's going to cost for the dragon scale. Um, reinforce this. I need 10,000 souls. Okay. Shit. 10,000 souls, huh? Applies lightning to right hand weapon. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna reverse the hollowing, even though I don't, again, I don't remember what this does. What does my character even look like, anyways? I don't remember what my character looks like. what he looks like. Pure evil. Just kind of looks like a normal guy. Except for the black, uh, like the fucking dark ass eyes and pure white skin. the character I decided to make, huh? Okay. Here's a standard helmet. Here's the wanderer robe. Whatever that means. It's where the, uh... It's where the, the funny... dingy robe... Brigade. 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 Here's the brigade armor. Great, buddy. Alright. Next. Here's the sack helmet. Or mask or whatever. Just a sack. Spooky. I look like the traveling merchant from RE4, which I still haven't finished. Do the whip in Nene? No! see I'm not doing that no 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 wait I wonder what happens if I do I do like a full like armor thing okay so this just has better wait this is better in physical defense than the fucking no fucking shot. 14? This has 12? Okay. So this is actually better to wear. The standard helmet is, is a better item to be wearing. Okay. Okay. 
This is better in... What do you call it? Fire defense, which actually kind of would have helped. This helps, this would help with, uh... You know, wear the dingy robe. And then, this uh, is actually better. Wait, hold on. Put this on. Alright, so what's better than this? So far, not not a lot. This actually has slightly better strike. Which is kind of what I do. Okay, and then pants. What kind of pants do we got? Yeah, cry, cry more. My, here's my warrior now. This is this is your savior. This is the person who's going to save the world. In lore. I feel like I can't wear these pants. I, I feel like I gotta I gotta wear something better. Everything always kills me anyways, so what's the point, you know? Give me the the black leather shoes. There, that's better. Now I look like a true hero. Let's go kill some enemies. Or die trying. Because I need 1,000 gold. So what should I fight that gives me a lot of points? I feel like if I'm gonna fight anything... No. Maybe I should fight... I should fight those one guys. Baby, I'm foolish. Baby, I'm blind. Okay. Um. Alright, so... There's some wacky... Guys downstairs in Blight Town. That would be perfect for getting some XP. Or points or whatever you want to call them. Some money. So I think we should go back to the beginning of that blight town area where there's like three of those like goblin big big chungus goblin guys and let's kill them oops we do need to come back here anyways but right now I want to get an upgrade for my sword, my Drake sword, and also I want to get enough points to um, fix all my shit, you know? Drakes aren't, are, are just like, it's just a waste of time, you know? These guys, at least I feel like these guys are kind of like worth it, you know? Follow me, my... Come here. Come on. Take your time. I know I'm such an opposing threat. 
does 325 damage. No fair, he gets invincibility frames. That's not fair. Alright, how much points do I get from these guys per? 500, okay. That's gonna work. We can use that. So we're just gonna sit here and farm these guys until... They realize their mistakes. bad. See? Good shit. Bum, 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 bum. Hold on. Breathe. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Hug the walls. Okay. You guys give like free XP or something? Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Fire Link Shrine. I'm just a weary traveler. I mean, if you really think about it, armor never really mattered, you know? It's all just an illusion. Wait, what if I fought the skeletons? Would that be a smart idea or would that be a dumb idea? What should the skeletons give in terms of XP? Hey. I'm gonna go kill the skeletons, I think. Or at least try. Because I am curious. When you want one of them to form, oh, both of them formed, okay. Hey, fucking stop. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
You guys aren't really worth it, actually. Oh, fuck. You guys actually parry? That's... that's fucked. Damn, these guys are fucked. But... They do give an okay amount of XP. So... I think that's a sword. I can't really tell what that is. I think that's their sword. I've run through this area and collected like all the loot and stuff, so... I'm good. Hi, giant bird. So, we do want to kill the funny, whatever you call them, guys. Bro's fighting Sans and Papyrus. Dead ass. Perish ass. Oh, you guys are alive again for some reason. Why is that? Why the fuck did they live? It was kind of bullshit. What the fuck, bro? Is Sands from Undertale? <laughs> Hold on. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Maybe it may. may, 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 may. Was it? Sans boss fight genocide run. Sands. He's real. Nah, you know what? You know what? It's hard. Uh, is a uh, is this song sped up? Uh, I'm not streaming the page. You're right. <laughs> that was deliberate. Yeah. 
Dude, okay, what's the what's the um <laughs> Let's listen to Nightcore as the world's games in? <laughs> yes! It's real! No, that's not that's not Nightcore. Here it is. My feet are aching. It's not it's not it's not high pitch enough. It needs to be more high pitch. Sped up nightcore, here My we go. Feet are aching, and your back is pretty tired. And we drank a couple bottles, babe. And set off into silence. The paper says it's doing safe. The button has been pressed. We're gonna nuke each other up for <laughs> stronger than you. Watch a pyrocynical video. I'm um, sped up. <laughs> nightcore, nightcore pyrocynical video. <laughs> Alvin the Chipmunks version. Jesus Christ. Uh, nightcore is probably the worst thing that ever happened. My feet are aching. My back is pretty tired. We're gonna nuke each other up, boy. In center, if you know what The paper says it's too thing. Oh, wait. The paper says it's too thing. Button has been pressed. We're gonna nuke each other up, boy. Well, old Satan stands impressed. And here it is. Our final night alive. I should do, um... I'm only human. Nightcore. No more. Let's play the game. Perish ass. Fire Link Shrine. Wow. It's us. Dead. <clears throat> oh man. All right, it's time to do um. It's time to do one of those uh. 
pyrocynical, like, Jay Schlett, like, addressing the controversy videos. Hey guys, uh, I know that while it's like playing like fucking speedrunning compilations in the background or something. Hey guys, I know that, um, that I had, uh, this video is a very serious topic and what the fuck is that? It's so cool. What geek? Lol free touch OLED wireless mouse? Um, erm. Erm. Um, <laughs> I'm in the middle of a game right now. I don't got time to look at dead mouse images. Come here. Look at it. Look at it. Well, I can't now because I have I have to fight this guy. I mean, I I have aggroed an enemy that is that can kill me. Give me a second. Let me fucking backstab you. Jesus. Make me waste time. Give me the dung pie. Look at the mouse. Look at the mouse. Look at the mouse. The fuck is this? Low free touch PBT OLED screen wireless mouse. The fuck is this? It's called a low free. Bro, that's not that's not a mouse, my guy. That is genuinely one of the stupidest looking things I've ever seen. What's the point? Why does it look like that? Connect your mind with every touch. Dude, it looks like it was ripped straight from the fucking 70s. Not in a good way, though. Looks like a robot's foot. Okay, I want to talk about this video. First of all, getting distracted again, trying to play video game. Look at this fucking desk. It, it doesn't even match everything in the room. <laughs> the fuck is the- what is this keyboard? Dude fucking changed all the keycaps to be in Comic Sans. Okay. They just strapped a Fitbit to a mouse. <laughs> That's all they did. They strapped a Fitbit in some, like, they cut out some fucking... <laughs> fucking... The keys on the keyboard. I don't know what they're called, but... That's what they did. Keycaps. It just, it's like. I, what do you want me to say to this? How much do they want for this? Make it hot swappable. No. It wants $70. That's an average price, I guess. But. It doesn't mention, like, everything about it. It doesn't, like... 
Say it's cool, say it's awesome. What the fuck is the banana set? You get these like art, it's like, it's just, I don't want my mouse to be an art piece, okay? I want, like, I think it has a retro design. By eliminating the experience of glossy, sticky, and color fading out. What? With Tyrion Mouse outfitted with PBT keycaps, these mice offer skin friendly comfort. Um, sensor provides up to 4000 DPI and allows the use for on glass surfaces for optimal efficiency. What's what's changed about this? It's just one of their weird like PBT material. Non-glossy, non-sticky and skin-friendly texture. I'm sorry, but this doesn't like nothing's going to beat the G I use the the G what was it called? Hold on. I think it's like the G502 or 250 Hero or something. G362 or some shit. What is it called? Uh, I need to I need to pull up Logitech. Uh, what was their their G Hub or something? Logitech G Hub. There we go. It's the yeah, the G502 Hero is probably one of the best m m mice in my opinion cuz it has like two additional buttons, one like lower DPS button that can also be changed into a third button and it has the unlocking scroll wheel that's like weighted so it feels really good and it feels it feels comfortable in the hand. It's a decent size, and it it fucking just it just works, and it's a, a good price too. It's a very reasonable like sixty dollar mouse. It's not like a crazy expensive mouse, and it it, it it's fucking reliable. Uh, and then same with my keyboard. I use the G six ten keyboard, and it's it's a really reliable, decent like it's just a simple. Um. It's just a simple keyboard, Logitech keyboard, and they're fucking high quality, and they don't cost a huge amount of money. It's not like cr a crazy, like over the top. I do like okay. So for instance, if I could, I would use an early like two thousands keyboard because it has a bunch of bullshit buttons all over it that don't do anything, that are just there that are like macro to open up certain applications, and <laughs> it looks ugly. But I kind of like, I like that it's ugly. Uh, but anyways, those you can't ever use. The Death Adder V2 is better. Are you stupid? Are you, are you, are you, are you insane? Saying that a Razer mouse is better than a Logitech mouse? I thought you just said... I, you, you want the, the fucking cringe... Starfield head ass key like f keyboard mouse thing. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's a, it's a wireless for also it's a wireless mouse. It's a wireless mouse. Now I'm going to play the game that I've been I'm supposed to be playing right now. Okay? This isn't just chatting. I just wanted to point that out. This is a uh, Dark Souls 1 remastered. I have a Death Adder V2 Switch. You know, I've used Razer like a tiny bit. The reason why I used Razer was because for some reason PewDiePie used like a, a like headset from them for a long time. And I liked that he wore like a green fucking Razer headset. And I was like, oh, Razer's good. PewDiePie's using it. That means they're good. And I, that logic... Like... I guess carried over. Stupid poopy head. Okay. 
That's that's too much. All right, that's that's too harsh. You're you're being really mean right now. It's a wired and wired connection. So it has a wired connection. So it's like it's like somebody who ran an Etsy store that did like custom keycaps and they're like, "You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a company." <laughs> And I'm gonna sell my Etsy. <laughs> I'm gonna sell my Etsy mice. That I sell for $200 on Etsy. I'm gonna sell it for $70. I bet you that thing is fucking... Unreliable. Yeah, I said it. It's unreliable. What are you gonna do about it? Hmm? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? 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 Can't do anything. I just reinforced the Drake sword. Kind of a badass, if you say you. I say so myself. Six souls, 52 souls, five souls, and three souls don't need to do that. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, uh, now we're doing this portion. We, for some reason, need to be here. I don't know why, but we're, we're here. Here we are. In New Londo Ruins. Uh, who the fuck are you? You know what's the sad part is that I didn't want to j do a jump attack. I wanted to kick him off the ledge. And, uh... Ugh. Rip. Well, now I'm dead. <laughs> this is me now. This is real. This is me. It's exactly who I want to be now. Gonna shine a light. Shine on me. And that song? It's from Camp Rock. When we didn't have internet or cable. I just had DVDs of movies that we've just had. And I didn't in in exactly enjoy a lot of the films that we had. And some of the few films that I enjoyed watching over and over again was Camp Rock. Uh, I think one of them was Twitches. Um, Cheetah Girls, I kind of watched that one a couple times. Uh, there was this Mary Kate and Ashley in New York. I kind of watched that a couple times, but, um, ultimately I didn't enjoy it because it was just kind of, like, it was, it was, it felt too, like, mature for me. So I just didn't like it because I just didn't get it because it was just, like, I just, I don't know. There was just something about it I didn't like at the time, so I just never really watched it. Uh, I probably like the setting of them being lost in New York or something like that. I didn't like. Maybe that's why. I have no idea. Um, and uh, we had a. Uh, I think we had Star Wars. I think I would watch those a couple times. Um, when it, when we had the chance every weekend, we'd go to Blockbuster or so and get some movies from Blockbuster to rent. I'd usually, um, also there was a Redbox, you know, when Redbox was a thing. So I would always get all the, there, there was this, uh, the Super Mario Super Show. And for the Super Mario Super Show, for whatever reason, the Redbox versions just completely removed the live action stuff 
and only had the cartoon stuff. So, where'd that guy go? I guess he doesn't exist now. Okay. He's just dead. I guess. Anyways, yeah, so, like, I watched the, the Super Mario Super Show get, like, every new episode they would release on Redbox once Blockbuster stopped being, like, a thing. Can I kill you? No. I need, like, a blessed weapon. Right? Hold on. I need to, like, go away so I can figure out what the blessed weapon I need is. Hopefully they're gonna stop following me. Okay, good. Um, yeah, what is- what am I supposed to do here, Mr. Guide? What am I supposed to do in- in New Londo Ruins? Oh, so I can't defeat him. I, he, he's he's apparently the guy he just decided he wants to kill you now after you've rang the bells because I guess he just wanted to all right so what you should know about them before proceeding they are floating um, apparitions they can be hit uh, they cannot be hit you cannot defend against them unless you are either cursed or Affected by the transient curse or specific weapons. They have the ability to pass through walls and floors to attack you. Don't rush into a seemingly empty area and be surprised to find yourself surrounded. They are equipped with two jagged knives. They have some quick close combat slashing stuff. Okay. Your grab attacks. Countered by running straight at the ghost and performing it. Run or roll. Once Kurt, wait. Once cursed, whether by your own hand or through unfortunate event, you should be able to defend against attacks. Of, uh, the attacks of the two ghosts turn right from where you entered and find a ruined walkway with windows. So what, do I want to be cursed or do I not? Okay, you know what? Let's try to do it the different way where I equip the, why do I have this equipped here? Let's equip the, um, the sword that's apparently blessed, which is, I think, uh, this one, right? This one's blessed. With present stats. What present stats do I need? I don't... Re required... Parameters. I don't have enough... What is that? Intelligence? Faith? I don't have enough faith. Okay, well... I guess I... I guess I just don't have enough faith. I'll still use it anyways. Let's see if I can kill this monster. With my faith sword. I have enough faith. No, it just goes through you? Okay, never mind. I guess I, it, I can't hurt you. Unless I'm cursed somehow. Back off. Firekeeper's soul. Ow. Don't do that. Ow, don't do that. Ow, ow, ow. Stop, 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 stop. Get out of the way. How unfortunate. Alright, what's this firekeeper's uh, soul? What are you? 
Boost the power of the Estus Flask. Okay. Now the Estus Flask has become stronger than ever. Okay. Well, now I need to find my way back to New Londo Ruins again. So how do I get cursed? So transient curses, what is this? Let's you interact with ghosts for a limited time. Since you must be cursed to hit them. Ghosts are encountered in new and it lacks, lasts five minutes. Holy shit, it's sold by a female undead merchant for 4,000 souls apiece. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's expensive. Do I have any transient curses? I don't know. No? Plus nine reinforce. These are keys. So weapons and other garbage. Okay. So I don't have any way of being cursed, which means I don't know. I have no idea what you want from me, game. Just saying. <sighs> I walk this lonely road. There's no permanent curse. I'm... I'm... Never gonna permanently be cursed. So, ghosts are going to be a problem. I've never really bothered going through this area, so... There's apparently... A bridge. Find a pot with a corpse holding another two. So I need those I need those curses. And I have to somehow I have to after I pick them up, I have to run back to the beginning of the area. And then You know what I should try to do is activate as many of those ghosts as possible. Not even as possible, but like try to activate them or something. I don't know. I have no idea. This it, this game's just hard to be hard, and it, it's never gonna be nice, and I'm never gonna fucking not suffer in this game constantly. I mean, we've made like no progress in this game. And as somebody who is trying to beat the game on stream, it makes it harder for me to... Did that really need to launch me? That's great. And the boys, you know, <laughs> we love getting launched.
Shadow Wizard money game. We love casting spells. This song is sponsored by the Shadow Government. Bedtime. Look at me, I sleep. in the morning. Shut up. Shut up. I hate you. <laughs> the one guy, he's like the, the trumpet guy or he's like, you know how hard I work here to get to this point? You know how hard I, I've worked to get here? This guy playing, this guy playing a, a saxophone. Wow, transient curses, my favorite. Hello, ghosts. Follow me if you dare. <laughs> I'm gonna go out of the water. Let's see how you feel about that, ghosts. Yeah, that's right. You can't even follow me because you're stupid. Alright, make this last me. Please make it last. Yeah, I'm cursed now, bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, uh, do they respawn? Nah. Not for now, at least. We got enemies to kill. It's just so nice being able to fucking play, you know? Except for when that shit happens. Fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Am I not cursed anymore? Am I not cursed anymore? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. No! Okay. You know what I'm gonna have to do? If... I'm not cursed at this point. I have one more shot. And if I can't do it, <laughs> then I'm gonna have to grind. I'm gonna have to play this game on my own and grind to get a bunch of souls or whatever the fuck you wanna call it, and then buy a bunch of the transient curses. Cause, <laughs> You know, I'm gonna need them. 
to actually get through the section. And wouldn't it wouldn't it be funny if like if you die after you've used the curse thing, it like <laughs> it like I don't know. <laughs> um uh, goes away if you die. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be hilarious? God, that would be so fucking funny. I'm- I'm raffling thinking about it right now. Uh, am I cursed right now? I have no idea. Attunement slots? I don't even know what that means. What do you mean a two-bit slots? This game makes me wish I was uh, an archer. To some extent. Alright, let's see. Did I lose my... Did I lose my curse? Like... Because there's no... There's no marker or timer or anything to let me know when it's done. So let's see if I'm cursed. Gonna be very disappointed in this game. Oh, you lose it? Oh, okay. You lose it. You lose it if you die. Oh, that's just amazing. Oh my gosh, that's just absolutely fantastic. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> so if I die, I'm fucked. Holy shit. Man, looks like I'm gonna have to find Ing Ingward, which resides on the rooftop of New Londa Ruins, dressed in crimson robes. He holds a tin bar banishment uh, catalyst in his right hand and the ghost blade in his left. He is last remaining of the three New Londo sorcerers who long ago undertook. I don't care. Where is he? He he will cure the player's curse status for one liquid humanity. If you have none, then use your humanity item first. He holds the key to the seal used to drain the valley. He will give it to the player after the Lord Vessel is acquired. But he can also be killed for it uh, to drop. What is the Lord Vessel? It can be obtained from Andor Londo. I don't know where Andor Londo is, but the question is on the top of the rooftop. Find the ladder inside the fireplace to reach him. Okay. Okay. So he can sell transient curse. It's a self buff. Here's with other buffs such as great magic. Okay. Here's here's a question though. Um. Here's the question, right? So, you want me to grind, right? You want me to grind for these um, transient curses? Instead of just, I don't know, giving me an item that makes me cursed or, you know, a, a blessed weapon, for example. This, this, this magical, uh, it says here, <clears throat> You need faith for it. it says here, high quality I a weapon with a powerful blessing. Everybody knows that a blessed sword kills ghosts, kills demons. Right? It's it's like they're weak against blessed items. Why the fuck does it not do anything? You have to specifically be cursed for you to kill ghosts because... That, that makes sense. You know, in, a, in an RPG Dungeons and Dragons universe, right? You, you gotta be cursed to kill demons and shit and ghosts and... 
let's let's spawn a lot of them too. Why not? You know, spawn like 50 of them in an area. Okay, I'm going to attempt again. Attempt one last time with the one transient curse that I have left. Single transient curse. I'm gonna try to find the guy first and hopefully he's not dead. He's apparently in a fireplace. I'm hoping the fireplace is right next to the entrance. Uh, I thought maybe it was, but I, I could be wrong. I have no idea. But if he sells it for a thousand, that's that's gonna be great. It's apparently also dropped by the ghosts, but it's a 5% chance that they drop it, which would make it easier. Again, Sit here and fucking farm. I, I don't even think the ghosts give you a lot of XP too. So like you couldn't even farm ghosts to get XP. Right? Okay, where's this fireplace anyways? It says that he's in like a fireplace. Like where? You think there was a fireplace around here, but there's there's not. As far as I know. Then there used to be like a tower or something that I could climb up. Or am I just misremembering this whole section? Because I thought there was something like you could climb up this. And keep going. That's that's a potion that a much needed um Estus flask. That I just wasted because I hit the wrong button. Isn't there... Okay, so there's no fireplace here or any way to go any higher. Okay. I guess I'm misremembering this whole area. Foolish. Foolish behavior. All right, let's go kill or attempt to get through this section, I guess. I don't, I really have zero faith in myself. Considering how fucked this game is, but you know. All right, I'm cursed now. Where's the, where's the effect? Cause I don't see it. So I guess I'm just cursed for no seconds left. gonna go cry I don't know if I just muted myself but um well I'm done <laughs> I'm done uh there is no ghosts there's there's no way for me to fucking do this and not have to spend a billion dollars because I don't know where the fucking Nguard guy is, and he's not in a location that's easily accessible. As far as I know at this point. So... Bye-bye, curses. Bye-bye. Now it's... I have to find female undead merchant, and I have to grind even fucking more than before. Because... I'm gonna go scream. I'm gonna go take a shower and scream. Um, my lungs out. And just sit there screaming with my hands over my ears. And I'm like, like I'm scrunched down. Like I'm like in like an, 
like a baby cradle almost kind of position, but with my with me like holding my ears with my eyes closed, screaming. Um, as I have the shower turned on to medium, like warm temperature. I'm just gonna do that for 20 minutes in the shower. Uh, as um, I'm not gonna sit here and spend another hour with boring, tedious grinding that is not fun or entertaining at all to watch, except for when I suffer and I die. That's not necessarily fun other than that point right there. Um, I think if we want to, again, I'm trying to beat the game. And the game is um, making me struggle for that every step of the way. Uh, and it hurts. It hurts me. So, yeah, Ingward. Where the fuck is Ingward? Where is he? He's apparently... I don't know where Ingward is. I'm gonna have to find him. So I'm gonna have to find a tutorial to find In Ingward. And until then, I have to find the female undead merchant, which is the girl who sits on the top of the statue thing, and she sells it for 4,000 fucking... Souls, which means I'm gonna have to grind even fucking more. <sighs> I'm not gonna have a fun time doing this. Uh, it sucks that the the wiki website is so garbage at kind of explaining what you're supposed to do because it it requires you to read a bunch of text and the game you can't pause the game it, it, like you can pause it, but it's it doesn't actually pause the game So if you're trying to follow a guide on figuring things out Especially when you're lost and you just want to progress in the game um, yeah, The guide doesn't really help that well So you're gonna need an actual YouTube video and watch a YouTube video then play the game and Memorize everything that the YouTube video did or just play it in the background on a second monitor and just follow exactly what they do every step of the way but holy fuck the female I'm gonna have to get 4,000 like okay where is let me let me find a video on where Ingward is located Dark Souls Ingward location here we go Dark Souls, how to find Merchant Ingward. What is up, YouTube? I'm your host, Sean, with Paper Planes. And in this Dark Souls video, I'm going to show you how to get to Ingward. He is the seal keeper, the mage that's sitting on top of the roof here in the New Londo ruins. He's going to give us the seal key, which opens up the floodgates. And he's also going to sell you two different spells sorceries I believe so as you see I'm running up the stairs here at the entrance to the new Londo ruins I've killed all the ghosts that are going to be on our path during this video oh so I have to go through the multiple ghosts Just there's probably a fuck ton of ghosts yourself, here it's not going to be halfway as easy there's going to be ghosts all over the place yeah so, yeah. Just be patient. Yeah. Take them out one at a time. Make sure yeah. you've uh, stocked up on your transient curse and that it is equipped and activated. Yeah. 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 All right. This area right here is going to be heavily infested with ghosts. Hence oh. All the bones. I see. I run see. Into the chimney, mm -hmm. Climb up the ladder. Uh huh. And there is our man. 
Once you talk to him, after you defeat the four kings later on, if you come back... <laughs> He's like a billion miles away, and there's like a billion ghosts. Uh, he, I'm gonna have to grind so much. Oh my god, why? Why, 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 why? The only thing I could, like, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I get like five transient curses and then I just practice a run where I run through exactly to get to this guy where he sells it for a thousand a piece and then just do that. <laughs> just and then just um fucking <laughs> Oh my god. And then I just need to buy a bunch of them, like a stock load them, and then fucking, I don't know, like, <laughs> and then run back through or something like that, or, oh my god, fuck me. What a fuckhead. <laughs> Got to kill ghosts. You can find some of those curses as scattered items or purchase limited amount from female. Ghosts have 5% chance of dropping two of them. They have five minutes each. You remain capable of hurting ghosts infinitely as long as you are cursed yourself at the cost of your health. Bar being halved. Okay, so you're you're saying it's an infinite, it's theoretically infinite. It has a five percent chance of dropping anything. So theoretically, yes, it's infinite. And they just mentioned that the, the fucking lady only has a limited amount of them. She only has a limited amount. That's so stupid. No. There's no fucking way she only has a limited amount of them. What do you do if you run out of all possible options? The only other thing you could do is go to Ingward. <laughs> What the f- why? Why? Two times treasure and corpse in a vase. Near the rickety bridge. Corpse in a vase and wall behind the base of the first staircase. <sighs> yep. So, theoretically, you could get infinite of them. Theoretically. But again, it's a 5% chance every time. It doesn't build up to a 100% chance every time. It doesn't. You don't get it. It's just, okay, you killed this guy. Okay, there's a 5% chance. Ow. How many chances is 5%? 1 in 20. So, you would have to kill 20 ghosts in total to at least get 2. 20 ghosts. And that's not even assuming, like, that's that's just assuming that you know, that, that's you killing half of the ghosts anyways that are probably in the area, uh, in that map anyways. There's probably only 20 ghosts in existence on that area. So you're telling me you need to kill all of them for a chance at the very least to get... Like, again, like a 5% chance. So I'd have to kill 20 at a, at a maximum. To get 
fucking two of the damn things, and it's a five minute charge. Five minutes goes by pretty quick. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. That's- I'm just gonna have to do the new Wando section by myself off stream so I can grind. Just so I can grind to get the stupid souls. Anyways. What a fucking chore. What a fucking chore. I didn't know I was working a 9 to 5 job playing this game. I thought I was- I don't necessarily- I don't find grinding in games fun, okay? I didn't- I don't find the combat in this game fun. I find it very clunky and annoying to use. It's not innovative. It's just annoying on purpose. And frustrating on purpose. Because it's all, again, it's animation based. So if you do an attack, you have to sit there at the mercy of your character as he slowly gets up from the ground until like frame like 40 or some shit, right? Like I'm just, I'm just being nerdy about it. It's not, it's not true. But and then I can dodge roll out of the way and there's a potential that the attack they they get they get to hit you again. <laughs> they they don't like especially like the fucking Drakes. Oh my god. The fucking Drakes electric ability. Oh my god. What a fucking bullshit like I just don't like it's stuff like whenever I have to deal with bullshit controls and bullshit like attacks from enemies and stuff that stun lock you and make you their bitch um it wakes me up it makes me realize hey i'm playing a video game and uh this video game wants me to not like it for some reason it doesn't want me to enjoy my time and uh that's what i'm getting from this every step of the way <laughs> It's like, I don't, I don't know how I can enjoy a game that says turn back every five minutes. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, whenever you do like the joke where you do like the, the text-based adventure game where you're like, all right, hey dude, so you, you're in a room and there's a door to your left, there's a window to your right, and there's a table behind you. What do you do? Go through the door. You die. <laughs> it's like that. That's what this game is, but it's internalized. Um, and, um, and it's, 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 like, I have to do a bunch of mindless grinding. So, I guess I better go put on something more entertaining that I can listen to, or at the very least somewhat watch, which, again, watching i can't even really watch anything because i have to put a hundred percent focus on the gameplay when i'm grinding for shit so if i can somehow make it like my make me like be able to do that without having to even think about it and make it mindless that would be easier but i don't know dude <sighs> okay I swear to God, like, if that's true, and the merchant lady only sells a limited amount of those transient curses, uh, that's gonna suck a lot. That's gonna make things very, very not good, because I can't get through that whole section without also having a billion ghosts on me. Um, so I would have to then get a thousand souls anyways if she started not having any anymore then i'd have to go find 1000 souls or even more than that just and then run and hope i don't die or get killed 
to then buy a transient curse, then go down the stairs, and then hope that all the ghosts that were there decided to fuck off. Uh, and then I'd have to fight my way through all these ghosts to get back away. To like a safe point or something. Oh my god, this whole thing is just gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. I guess what I'd have to do again is I'd have to sit there and grind levels until I'm strong enough and not weak, but I could also, I don't know, 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 I have no idea. I would hope that the ghost actually gave transit for shit. Uh, I guess I'm streaming tomorrow, or not tomorrow, um, Friday, so, streaming Friday, maybe, which is, uh, today's date is the 23rd, so, 25th of three. Streaming Friday. There we go. Oh, I need to put in the actual time. Once this stupid stream successful window goes away, I can actually do that. Okay. Alright. That's that. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna try tomorrow. Probably gonna struggle and force myself to try and grind but i don't think i'm gonna get that far um because again i have to work tomorrow and then yeah it's it's a whole thing it's a whole thing and uh so i'd have to grind my ass off on this game go to work Get home, grind my ass off again on this game, hoping that I get somewhere to where I can actually progress in the game on stream. And actually get somewhere. I don't know where I'm going in New Londo, to be honest. Because it's kind of pointless as far as I know. I think that the red-robed guy is the only interesting thing. And I have to get to Andor Londo, or whatever the fuck it's called. And I have to go do whatever you need to do there. I don't know where that is. I don't remember. I have no idea. I don't know to find it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, fuck this game, man. Fuck this game. But he'd give you the key to drain the Londo town or something. And then you drain it, and then you can open up the giant gates, which bring you to the 50 drakes that are hanging out outside, ready to kill you. So, that's a great shortcut. Fantastic shortcut. So, anyways, okay. Bye. Fuck me.